in salty we have a keyword called delegated call it's a low label function and that function is similar to a call which we use to transfer the fund from one account to other when a contract a execute the delegated call to contract b in that scenario b contract will also execute so with contract a the storage of the message dot sender and the message dot value would be accessible so let's try to have a look what it is and how we can utilize it into our smart contract let's provide the general configurations we have to provide the salty version let me give this note deploy this contract first and here we're going to create a contract we'll call it contract b the street variable will define in the contract b that would be similar to contract a only then we can easily able to call the delegated call so let's define the variables we'll take this unt public num we'll take the address public sender and we'll take the unt public value so these are the three state variables we have and here we're going to create a function we'll call it set where where set var inside inside that we're going to take this unt public payable so we can easily able to send that in that we're going to take this data we want to update our number so this is the first function we have inside that we're going to update the sender which we have inside this message dot sender and the final one we have is the value so this will send the amount and a date into our state variable so this is the contract b now let's create a contract a and we have to follow the general convention because the contract b state variable whatever we have defined that's the exact thing we're going to add into a contract a so let's define the variable num address sender and this is going to be unt value so same state variable we have here now let's create a function we'll call set var address and that we have to pass the contract the contract we want to call the delegate so that's going to be the contract address then we have to pass the unt the number and we have to be public payable inside that we're going to boolean success bytes memory data and we have to simply call the contract so delegate and because here we want to refer to the contract B and we are using this delegated method to execute our contract B and in that we're going to simply pass this ABI dot encoded with signature and in that we have to pass the function which we want to execute so we have to pass this set where's and we have to pass the amount pass and the amount we are getting here we can come and now that's pretty much so this is the delegate method which we are using to transfer the funds so hope this makes sense the reason why i'm showing you this because this is not that popular in the smart contract using this delicate call you most of the smart contract you will find in that they use only call method but i want to show you this keyword exists in the solid programming and you can use this encoded with signature data to transfer the to call the functions so that looks pretty fine to me and now let's test this out this is the contract we have written to understand the delegated call this is the b contract and this is the a contract so simply so let's deploy that and here you can see here we have the two contracts so first let's call this b contract and if we come here you can see here we have this function so we have num if we click on num we have zero sender this is the zero address this is the value and here we can easily able to call this function so if i want to send any amount i can simply call five and i can simply call this send the transaction went successful and if i come here if i go into the logs into the logs you can find all the data this is the data we have provided and now if you call this num if you call this sender if you call this value everything is got updated but this time we're going to use this contract a contract a and we're going to deploy this one if we deploy that you can see this is the contract we got it and from here you can easily able to call the function which we have in the b contract with the help of this delegated this delegated call method if you call this one you can see we have the same variables but if we want to call that we need the address of the contract b we can simply open this one and we can simply pass the address and we can pass the number so i can pass six and if i call this transaction here you can see the transaction went successful and you can call this one you can see the updates and we have called this function so if we come here if we'll open the logs you can able to find the details this is what we have provided and everything's working fine if you come in the b contract if you call it everything's looking fine so that's how we can access the function of contract b with the help of this delicate method and we can simply transfer 
So the only thing you have to keep in mind that this is the delicate method which allow you to call the function on the base of the encoded with signature. And that's the only thing you have to remember. Pretty simple, here we are using these functions and that's what we are getting from here. And that's how you can call different contract with the help of this delicate method. So with that, I'm ending this video. Hope you have learned. If you still have any confusion, do leave in the comment section and just try to play around with this code and see how the things are working. Okay, so let's move to the next video.